Am I the asshole? For telling my sill that if her service dog can't ignore children he isn't to SD. I have two kids, 11M9F. My sister-in-law has a service dog who has been with her for about six months now he is 18 mo. It was my son's birthday party last weekend, which she was at, and obviously had a whole ton of young boys running riot around my house. My daughter also had two friends over younger siblings of the boys as well as pure pets. All in all there was nine children, three dogs and a cat causing chaos. At one point one of our rabbits escaped and was running around too. My sills dog couldn't cope. He was so excited and wasn't paying any attention to her. My daughter and her friends said hi to him but otherwise left him alone. He was losing his shit the whole time and my sill had to leave. My son was a little upset but overall didn't mind, just asked that she could come over for a mini birthday. Yesterday was that mini birthday. It was much quieter, just the family, and the dog was still losing it. He was jumping around and she wasn't able to control him. She had a flare up which he ignored. She got quite frustrated and asked my children to leave the room. They did and he finally calmed down. They came back in and G got excited again. The kids weren't comfortable so they went to play and we had a conversation. I basically said if she can't control him I don't want him in my house. She replied that he's a service dog and goes everywhere with her, so I'd essentially be banning her. I said that he was a shit service dog as he'd ignored her flare up and wouldn't listen. She then blamed my kids, saying my daughter had got him excited last time and now he thinks that kids mean playtime. I told her that if her service dog can't ignore children while working he's not really a service dog. She got upset and left, saying she was uncomfortable with me. Later on my husband pulled me aside and asked me to apologize because I'd hurt her feelings. I said I didn't think an apology would be worth it because I'm not sorry I meant what I said. He told me he understood but that it's a bit she moved to not even try to apologize. She then texted me and said that he had a situation with a child when he was in training, but she is paying out money to get him retrained. I don't know what the situation is but I do feel bad. I think she was trying to use my kids to socialize him and it hasn't worked and I feel much worse. I haven't yet responded, because I do still somewhat stand by what I said, but I also feel awful about making her feel so insecure. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole you are absolutely right it's not a service dog. They are extensively trained and extremely expensive. It sounds like she got a dog and someone train it and is calling it a service dog. 18 meters old sounds kinda young also. Not the asshole. There is a problem with the dog. A properly trained service dog shouldn't react like that. If the kids upset the dog, the dog should be retrained or released from its responsibilities. Not the asshole, that dog is too young for a full-time service job. Maybe one day he will be great, but not until he is more mature. Your sister may have been ripped off. Have a friend who trains service dogs. It's around like $15,000 to have them trained including deep pressure etc. Sounds like this dog is just getting manners classes sit, stay, shake at bet smart etc. And still is playing it off as a service dog. Not the asshole. You are correct. A neighbor from when I was growing up trained seeing eye dogs. Those dogs were disciplined to the nth degree. You sister is a fraud. Not the asshole, that's not a service dog. It's a pet, and a poorly trained one at that. Not the asshole. Nothing you said was wrong. You could tell your story at a service dog subreddit like our service dogs. Not the asshole you don't need to invite a service dog into your home. The ADA doesn't apply to private residences. Not the asshole. Doesn't sound like a well-trained service dog. And if she is wanting him to be socialized she needs to make it clear to the adults there so they can be aware and redirect the children. Not the asshole it sounds like she genuinely did not get a service dog or did not have him trained as such. 
I'm a flight attendant. We get a lot of service dogs. Some are true service dogs because they act the way service dogs should. The ones that growl or try to bite me when I'm next to their owners nope. Not service dogs. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She has an emotional support pet or something and just calls it a service dog. So many people try to do this. Not the asshole. That's not a true service dog as it's obviously not trained to be and you are in your private residence and have the right to refuse the dog coming over. Not the asshole that poor dog wants to play and be a regular dog around the house. He doesn't sound like he was trained for long enough or at a reputable school considering he can't temper his excitement. It's a problem she has, not your children. Not the asshole. Her service dog is not sufficiently trained to support her. It's unreasonable to expect you to make concessions in your own house due to this. What service does the dog provide? If the answer is comfort or his presence helps her anxiety. Not a service animal. Not the asshole. Doesn't matter that you hurt her feelings. You're actually doing her a favor by pointing out that her dog needs way more training. Not the asshole you are right and your sill is the entitled are for faking a service dog. It's people like her that make it hard for those that actually have them. Not the asshole that is not a service dog. My best friend has a service dog that can absolutely tune everything else out. Don't apologize, you told her the truth. Not the asshole. Not a service dog. Sounds like she just got a regular dog to make herself feel better and is selfish about it. She was a guest, her dog was disruptive, and she chose to complain. The sill was a selfish asshole. Is it an actual service dog? Or just an emotional support animal? Not the asshole. Everybody has a service dog these days, but it's really easy to buy a vest and tell everyone it's trained. Unfortunately there are a lot of SD scams lately and it seems like your sister might have been one of the victims. But either way not the asshole you're absolutely right. Not the asshole. She's lying. It takes a lot longer than 18 motor train a service dog. Not the asshole. My university actually offers a minor in assistance dog training and I took the first class to fulfill a gen ed and the main takeaway is service dog training is strict and no way a qualified or would hand off an ill prepared dog. No way is it a real service dog. You are right. Not the asshole. Fine to call out people like this because they give people with real service dogs a bad name. Natar. Not the asshole an actual service dog takes 3-5 years to be trained. Before they are in training fostered for training. At 18 months, it is literally impossible. Silly's being a ah, uh, entitled and attention seeking as far as I am concerned. Sounds like an emotional support dog it's not a service dog. Natar when you're completely right, man shrugging. Not the asshole. The dog is either inadequately trained or the wrong temperament neither of which are your problem.